Session 32, February 27th, 1981. I am Ra. I greet you in the love and light of the one infinite creator we communicate now. Question. We will now continue with the material from the day before yesterday. The subject is how sexual polarity acts as a catalyst in evolution and how to best make use of this catalyst. Going back to the material, I will fill in a few gaps that we possibly do not understand too well at this point. Can you tell me the difference between orange and yellow ray activation? I am going to work up from the red ray right on through the violet. We have covered red ray, so I would like to ask you now what the difference is between yellow and orange ray activation. Ra, the orange ray is that influence or vibratory pattern wherein the mind-body-spirit expresses its power on an individual basis. Thus, power over individuals may be seen to be orange ray. This ray has been quite intense among your people on an individual basis. You may see in this ray the treating of our other selves as non-entity, slaves, or chattel, thus giving our other selves no status whatever. The yellow ray is a focal and very powerful ray and concerns the entity in relation to, shall we say, groups, society, or large numbers of mind-body-spirit complexes. This orange, we correct ourselves, this yellow ray vibration is at the heart of bellicose actions in which one group of entities feels the necessity and right of dominating other groups of entities and bending their wills to the wills of the masters. The negative path, as you would call it, uses a combination of the yellow ray and the orange ray in its polarization pattern. These rays, used in dedicated fashion, will bring about a contact with intelligent infinity. The usual nature of sexual interactions, if one is yellow or orange in primary vibratory patterns, is one of blockage and then insatiable hunger due to that blockage. When there are two cells vibrating in this area, the potential for polarization through the sexual interaction is begun. One entity experiencing the pleasure of humiliation and slavery or bondage, the other experiencing the pleasure of mastery and control over another entity. This way a sexual energy transfer of a negative polarity is experienced. Question. From the material that you transmitted February 17th, you stated, In third ray there are two possibilities. Firstly, if both vibrate in third ray, there will be a mutual strengthening energy transfer. What color is third ray in this material? Ra. The ray we are speaking of in that material should be properly the green ray or fourth ray. Question. So I should change that third to fourth or green. Ra, this is correct. Please continue to scan for errors having to do with numbering, as you call them, as this concept is foreign to us and we must translate, if you will, when using numbers. This is an ongoing weakness of this contact due to the difference between our ways and yours. Your aid is appreciated. Question. Thank you. I believe for the time being we have amply covered green ray. So I am going to skip over green ray and go to the blue ray. Could you tell me the difference that occurs between green ray and blue ray with the emphasis on blue ray? Ra. With the green ray transfer of energy, you now come to the great turning point sexually as well as each other mode of experience. The green ray may then be turned outward, the entity then giving rather than receiving. The first giving beyond green ray is the giving of acceptance or freedom, thus allowing the recipient of blue ray energy transfer the opportunity for a feeling of being accepted, thus freeing that other self to express itself to the giver of this ray. It will be noted that once green ray energy transfer has been achieved by two mind-body-spirits in mating, the further rays are available without both entities having the necessity to progress equally. Thus a blue ray vibrating entity or indigo ray vibrating entity whose other ray vibrations are clear may share that energy with the green ray other self, thus acting as catalyst for the continued learned teaching of the other self. Until an other self reaches green ray, such energy transfer through the rays is not possible. Question. What is the difference between indigo and blue ray transfer? Ra. The indigo ray is the ray of, shall we say, awareness of the creator as self. Thus one whose indigo ray vibrations have been activated can offer the energy transfer of creator to creator. This is the beginning of the sacramental nature of what you call your bisexual reproductive act. 
It is unique in bearing the allness, the wholeness, the unity in its offering to other self. Question. What is the difference between violet ray and the others? Ra. The violet ray, just as the red ray, is constant in the sexual experience. Its experience by other self may be distorted or completely ignored or not apprehended by other self. However, the violet ray, being the sum and substance of the mind, body, spirit complex, surrounds and informs any action by a mind, body, spirit complex. Question. Do the energy transfers of this nature occur in the fifth, sixth, and seventh density, all the rays? Ra. The rays, as you understand them, have such a different meaning in the next density, and the next, and so forth, that we must answer your query in the negative. Energy transfers only take place in fourth, fifth, and sixth densities. There are still of what you would call a polarized nature. However, due to the ability of these densities to see the harmonies between individuals, these entities choose those mates which are harmonious, thus allowing constant transfer of energy and the propagation of the body complexes with each density uses. The process is different in the fifth and sixth density than you may understand it. However, it is in these cases still based upon polarity. In the seventh density, there is not this particular energy exchange, as it is unnecessary to recycle body complexes. Question. I am assuming we have on earth today and have had in the past fourth, fifth, and sixth density wanders, as they come into incarnation into the physical of this density for a period as a wander. What types of polarizations with respect to these various rays do they find affecting them? Ra, I believe I grasp the thrust of your query. Please ask further if this question is not sufficient, if this answer is not f- sufficient. Fourth density wanders, of which there are not many, will tend to choose those entities which seems to be full of love or in need of love. There is the great possibility or probability of entities making errors in judgment due to the compassion with which other selves are viewed. The fifth density wander is one who is not tremendously affected by the stimulus of the various rays of other self and in its own way offers itself when a need is seen. Such entities are not likely to engage in, shall we say, custom of your people called marriage and are very likely to feel an aversion to childbearing and child raising due to the awareness of the impropriety of the planetary vibrations relative to the harmonious vibrations of the density of light. The sixth density, whose means of propagation you may liken to what you call fusion, is likely to refrain, to a great extent, from the bisexual reproductive programming of the bodily complex, and instead seek out those with whom the sexual energy transfer is of the complete fusion nature insofar as this is possible in manifestation in third density. Question. Can you expand a little bit on what you mean by complete fusion nature? Ra. The entire creation is of the one creator. Thus the division of sexual activity into simply that of the bodily complex is an artificial division. All things thusly being seen as sexual equally, the mind, the body, and the spirit, all of which are part of the polarity of the entity. Thus, sexual fusion may be seen with or without what you may call sexual intercourse to be the complete melding of the mind, the body, and the spirit in what feels to be the constant orgasm, shall we say, of joy and delight each in each other's beingness. Question. Would many wanders of these densities have considerable problems with respect to incarnation in the third density because of this different orientation? Ra. The possibility probability of such problems, as you call them, due to sixth density incarnating in third is rather large. It is not necessarily a problem, if you would call it thusly. It depends upon the unique orientation of each mind, body, spirit complex, having this situation or placement of vibratory relativities. Question. Can you give me an idea how the different colors... This is a difficult question to ask. I'm having trouble finding any words. What I am trying to get at is how the different colors originate as the function for the different expressions in consciousness. I don't know if this question is sufficient. Ra, this question is sufficiently clear for us to attempt explanation of what, as you observed, is not easily grasped material for the intellectual mind. 
The nature of vibration is such that it may be seen as having mathematically straight or narrow steps. These steps may be seen as having boundaries. Within each boundary there are infinite gradations of vibration or color. However, as one approaches a boundary, an effort must be made to cross that boundary. These colors are a simplistic way of expressing the boundary divisions of your density. There is also the time-space analogy, which may be seen as the color itself in a modified aspect. Question. Thank you. Is it possible for an entity in third density physical to vary across the entire band of colors, or is the entity pretty well zeroed in on one color? Ra, this will be the last full question of this working. Please restate for clarity. Question. I meant was it possible for a green ray person, who is primarily of green ray activation, to vary on both sides of the green ray in a large or small amount in regards to energy activation, or is he primarily green ray? Ra, we grasped the newness of material requested by you. It was unclear, for we thought we had covered this material. The portion covered is this. The green ray activation is always vulnerable to the yellow or orange ray of possession, this being largely yellow ray, but often coming into orange ray. Fear of possession, desire for possession, fear of being possessed, desire to be possessed, these are the distortions which will cause the deactivation of green ray energy transfer. The new material is this. Once the green ray has been achieved, the ability of the entity to enter blue ray is immediate and is only awaiting the efforts of the individual. The indigo ray is opened largely through considerable discipline and practice largely having to do with acceptance of self, not only as a polarized and balanced self, but as the creator, as an entity of infinite worth. This will begin to activate the indigo ray. Question. Thank you. Ra, do you have any brief qu queries before we close? Question. I think that anything I would have would be too long. So I will ask if there is anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to make the contact better. Ra, all is well. We caution not only this instrument, but each to look well to the vital energies necessary for non-depletion of the instrument at the contact level. You are most conscientious, my friend. We shall be with you. I leave you now in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, then, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one infinite creator, Adonai. Session 33, March 1st, 1981. I am Ra. I greet you in the love and light of the one infinite creator. I communicate now. Question. In our last session, you said that each of us in these sessions should look well to the vital energies necessary for non-depletion of the instrument and the contact level. Did that mean that we should look at the instrument's vital energies or be careful of our own vital energies? Ra. Each entity is responsible for itself. The mechanics of this process taking place involve, firstly, the use of the physical bodily complex of third density, with its accompanying physical material in order to voice these words. Thus, this instrument needs to watch its vital energies carefully, for we do not wish to deplete this instrument. Secondly, the function of the supporting group may be seen to be, firstly, that of protection for this contact. Secondly, that of energizing the instrument and intensifying its vital energies. This support group has always, due to an underlying harmony, been of a very stable nature as regards protection in love and light, thus ensuring the continuation of this narrow band contact. However, the vital energies of either of the supporting members being depleted, the instrument must then use a large portion of its vital energies, thus depleting itself more than would be profitable on a long-term basis. Please understand that we ask your apology for this infringement upon your free will, However, it is our distortion understanding that you would prefer this information, rather than being left totally to your own dedication distortion, deplete the instrument or deplete the group to the point where the contact cannot be sustained. Question. Can you give us advice on how to maintain the best possible condition for maintaining contact? Ra. We have given information concerning the proper nurturing of this channel. We therefore repeat ourselves only in two ways in general. Firstly, we suggest that rather than being, shall we say, brave and ignoring a physical complex weakness distortion, it is good to share this distortion with the group of thus, perhaps, shall we say, remove one opportunity for contact, which is very wearing for the instrument, 
in order that another opportunity might come about in which the instrument is properly supported. Secondly, the work begun in harmony may continue in harmony, thanksgiving in praise of opportunities and of the Creator. These are your protections. These are our suggestions. We cannot be specific, for your free will is of the essence in this contact. As we said, we only speak to this subject because of our grasp of your orientation towards long-term maintenance of this contact, and this is acceptable to us. Question. Thank you very much. We have a device for so-called color therapy, and since we were on the concept of different colors in the last session, I was wondering if this would in some way apply to the principle of color therapy in the shining of particular colors on the physical body. Does this create a beneficial effect, and can you tell me something about it? Ra, this therapy, as you call it, is a somewhat clumsy and variably useful tool for instigating in an entity's mind-body-spirit complex an intensification of energies or vibrations which may be of aid to the entity. The variableness of this device is due firstly to the lack of true colors used, secondly to the extreme variation in sensitivity to vibration among your people. Question. I would think that you could achieve a true color by passing light through a crystal of a particular color. Is this correct? Ra. This would be one way of approaching accuracy in color. It is a matter of what you would call quality control that the celluloid used is of varying color. This is not a great or even visible variation. However, it does make some difference given specific applications. Question. Possibly you could use a prism breaking white light into its spectrum and screening off all parts of the spectrum except that which you wish to use by passing it through a slit. Would this be true? Ra, this is correct. Question. I was wondering if there is a programming of experiences that causes an individual to get certain catalysts in his daily life. For instance, as we go through our daily life, there are many things which we can experience. We can look at these experiences as occurring by true chance or by conscious design of our own such as making appointments or going places. I was wondering if there was a behind the scene, as you might call it, programming of catalysts to create the necessary experiences for more rapid growth in the case of some entities. Does this happen? Ra, we believe we grasp the heart of your query. Please request further information if we are not correct. The incarnating entity, which has become conscious of the incarnate process and thus programs its own experience, may choose the amount of catalyst or, to phrase this differently, the number of lessons at which will undertake to experience and to learn from in one incarnation. This does not mean that all is predestined, but rather that there are invisible guidelines shaping events which will function according to this programming. Thus, if one opportunity is missed, another will appear until the, shall we say, student of the life experience grasps that a lesson is being offered and undertakes to learn it. Question. Then these lessons would be reprogrammed, you might say, as the life experience continues. Let's say that an entity develops the bias that he actually didn't choose to develop prior to incarnation. Is it then possible to program experiences so that he will have an opportunity to alleviate this bias through balancing? Is this correct? Ra, this is precisely correct. Question, thank you. From this I would extrapolate to the conjecture that the orientation in mind of the entity is the only thing that is of any consequence at all. The physical catalyst that he experiences regardless of what is happening about him will be a function strictly of his orientation in mind. I will use as an example, this being a statement of the orientation in the mind governing the catalyst. Is this correct? Ra, we prefer not to use any well-known examples, sayings or adages in our communication to you due to the tremendous amount of distortion which any well-known saying has undergone. Therefore, we may answer the first part of your query asking that you delete the example. It is completely true to the best of our knowledge that the orientation or polarization of the mind-body-spirit complex is the cause of the perception generated by each entity. Thus a scene may be observed in your grocery store. The entity ahead of self may be without sufficient funds. One entity may then take the opportunity to steal. Another may take this opportunity to feel itself a failure. Another may feel unconcerned, remove the least necessary items, pay for what it can, and go about its business. 
The one behind the self observing may feel compassion, may feel an insult because of standing next to the poverty-stricken person, may feel generosity, may feel indifference. Do you now see the analogies in a more appropriate manner? Question. I think that I do. Then from this I will extrapolate the concept, which is somewhat more difficult, because as you have explained before, even fourth density positive has the concept of defensive action. But above the level of fourth density, the concept of defensive action is not in use. The concept of defensive action and offensive action are very much in use in our present density. I am assuming that if an entity is polarized strong enough in his thought in a positive sense, that defensive action is not going to be necessary for him because the opportunity to apply defensive action will never originate for him. Is this correct? Ra, this is unknowable. In each case, as we have said, an entity able to program experiences may choose a number and the intensity of lessons to be learned. It is possible that an extremely positively oriented entity might program for itself situations testing the ability of self to refrain from defensive action even to the point of the physical death of self or other self. This is an intensive lesson, and it is not known, shall we say, what entities have programmed. We may, if we desire, read this program. However, this is an infringement, and we choose not to do so. Question. I will ask you if you are familiar with a motion picture called The Ninth Configuration. Are you familiar with this? Ra. We scan your mind and see this configuration called the Ninth Configuration. Question. This motion picture brought out to a point about which we have been talking. The colonel had to make a decision. I was wondering about his polarization. He could have knuckled under, you might say, to the negative forces, but he chose to defend his friend instead. Is it possible for you to estimate which is more positively polarizing, to defend the positively oriented entity, or to allow suppression by the negatively oriented entities? Ra, this question takes in the scope of fourth density as well as your own, and its answer may be best seen by the action of the entity called Jehoshua, which you call Jesus. This entity was to be defended by its friends. The entity reminded its friends to put away the sword. This entity then delivered itself to be put to the physical death. The impulse to protect the loved other self is one which persists through the fourth density, a density abounding in compassion. More than this, we cannot and need not say. Question. Thank you. As we near the end of this master cycle, there may be increasing amount of catalyst for entities. I am wondering if, as the planetary vibration mismatch somewhat with the fourth density vibration, and catalyst is increased, if this will create more polarization, thereby getting a slightly greater harvest. Ra, the question must be answered in two parts. Firstly, the planetary catastrophes, as you may call them, are a symptom of the difficult harvest, rather than a consciously programmed catalyst for harvest. Thus, we do not concern ourselves with it, for it is random in respect to conscious catalysts such as we may make available. The second portion is this. The results of the random catalyst of what you call the earth changes are also random. Thus we may see probability, possibility vortices going towards positive and negative. However, it will be as it will. The true opportunities for conscious catalyst are not a function of the earth changes, but of the result of the seniority system of incarnation, which at the time of the harvest has placed in incarnations those whose chances of using life experiences to become harvestable are the best. Question. Is this seniority system also used in the service to self-side for becoming harvestable at that side? Ra, this is correct. You may ask one more full question at this time. Question. What I would like for you to do is to list all the major mechanisms designed to provide catalytic experience that do not include interaction with other self. This is the first part. Ra, we grasp from this question that you realize that the primary mechanism for catalytic experience in third density is other self. The list of other catalytic influences, firstly, the creator's universe, secondly, the self. Question. Can you list any subheadings under self or ways of self is acted upon catalytically which would produce experience? Ra. Firstly, the self unmanifested. 
Secondly, the self in relation to the societal self created by self and other self. Thirdly, the interaction between self and the gadgets, toys, and amusements of the self, other self-invention. Fourthly, the self-relationship with those attributes, which you may call war and rumors of war. Question. I was thinking possibly of the catalyst of physical pain. Does this go under this heading? Raw. This is correct. It going under the heading of the unmanifested self, that is, the act which does not need other self in order to manifest or act. Question. Do we have enough time to left to ask a second part of this question, which is to list all major mechanisms designed to provide the catalyst that include action with other self? Ra, you have much time for this, for we may express this list in one of two ways. We could speak infinitely, or we could simply state that any interaction betwixt self and the other self has whatever potential for catalyst that there exists in the potential difference between self and other self. This moderated and undergirded by the constant fact of the Creator as self and as other self. You may ask to this question further if you wish specific information. Question. I believe that this is sufficient for the time being. Ra, do you have a brief query or two before we close? Question. Yes, here is one question. Is there any difference in violet ray activity or brightness between entities who are at entrance level both positive and negative to fourth density? Ra, this is correct. The violet ray of the positive fourth density will be tinged with the green, blue, indigo triad of energies. This tinge may be seen as a portion of a rainbow or prism, as you know it, the rays being quite distinct. The violet ray of fourth density negative has in its aura, shall we say, the tinge of red, orange, yellow, these rays being muddied rather than distinct. Question. What would the rays of fifth and sixth density look like? Ra. We may speak only approximately. However, we hope you understand, shall we say, that there is a distinctive difference in the color structure of each density. Fifth density is perhaps best described as extremely white in vibration. The sixth density of a whiteness which contains a golden quality as you would perceive it, these colors having to do with the blending into wisdom of the compassion learned in fourth density. Then, in six, the blending of wisdom back into a unified understanding of compassion viewed with wisdom. This golden color is not of your spectrum, but is what you would call alive. You may ask one more question briefly. Question. Then I will ask if there is anything we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or to improve the contact. Ra. This, is, this working is well. You are attempting to be conscientious. We thank you. May we say we enjoyed your vision of our social memory complex drinking one of your liquids while speaking through this instrument. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and light of the one infinite creator. Go forth then, rejoicing in the power of the peace of the one infinite creator, Adonai.